Another request coming for Joe Craze. The feel for this song is more of a beat from R&B, hip-hop, more in that corner. Roughly, this song has two parts. It's the more easy down part, like the verse and the intro. And the next part is like the chorus and when they're building up more. Let's check out the first part. The first part will go like this. The side stick is just playing two and four. The kick is playing on the one and on the R of one. Maybe you know this beat from the hip hop or the R&B songs. Well, it's similar to that. It's just that you take away the, the, last two, the last two beats and just play only the first two. The hi-hat pattern is based actually on eight notes. Eight notes on the, with the accents on the one and the two and the three and the four. So it's one and two and three and four. And. But instead of just playing straight notes, the extra note is added between the and and the, and the one. One, E, and, A, two, E, and, A, three, E, and, A, four, E, and, A. Let me show you both of those uh, behind each other. So just the straight eight notes and the one E and a two E and a. The extra note what come in is just is unaccented. So we can keep the same flow with the accents on the on the downbeat. Checking out the kick and the hi-hat together, uh, if you see it visually, is one E and A. Two E and A. Um, the one is playing together with the kick and the hi hat. The E is empty. None of them is playing. The and is played only with the unaccented hi hat, and the A is played with the kick and the hi hat together. Unaccented hi hat. Got the accent only falling on the first first beat. To finish that off, just add in the, the side stick uh, with the with the hi-hat and the with the hi-hat and the kick. Um, the side stick coming on two and four, so those are the accented notes where you're playing on the hi-hat. Like you see just now, the kick just playing on the first count. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two. The other three counts, the kick pattern just empty. In case that uh, hi hat pattern is a little too tricky, you can scale it back and just play eight notes as well. Keep it simple then. Moving on to the next part of the song, um, the kick added most more notes in that in that part. And the kick will play one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. A. So you're adding the kick on the end of two and the end of three. Just to hear the basic, let me show you the kick with a snare. I just use side stick, but it's snare actually in the song, but just to show you how it's played. The snare also add in one note, uh, you can add an extra on the E of 3. So 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. Now 
the cake playing the and of three and the snare playing the e of three. So it's three e. It's a it's like a double, but um, a snare between the snare and the kick. I'm gonna show you the kick and the snare together with a simple hi hat. Just playing eight notes. Checking out the hands together, um, like I showed you before, the hi hat playing one and a uh, two and a uh, three, and the extra note from that from the snare is on the E of three. That's one E, so we're like to come in between the hi hats. It's good to get that feel going and also get the kick and the hi-hat going together. Just get that feel going as well and then you just add in the 2 and 4 from the hi-hat and then maybe add in later on, add in the extra note, the E of 3 on the snare. Once you get that done, you can even add what they're playing in the song. They're playing uh, the kick is also playing along with a two, so playing along with a snare. Um, you don't really bound to do that, but if they have it in the recording, so you can do that as well. The main thing for this song is to keep that pulse going. Uh, you can play it in a difficult way or you can play it more easy way. But as long as you keep the groove, um, you won't get no bad looks. If you try the difficult way but you kinda, it's difficult, you can't really keep up and stay in, in, in the same groove, um, the band ain't gonna like it too much. So then if, if you get catch yourself um, kind of speeding up or, or, or skipping or, or something, um, just bring it back. Uh, play it simple and then you can um, practice at home, practice the more difficult part and then play that when you, when you really feel ready to do that. If you strip everything down just to the bare groove, you'll get something like this. That's the easiest way to play it. Alright, that's it for the instruction part. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already or leave a message if you have any suggestions.
to you. 